Hey everyone, Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com and this is probably the most that I've had for a launch day ever in the history of eTechnics. Let's do this. <laughs> I wish these files would transfer faster. Come on! Whoa, is that the Fire Cuda 510 NVMe drive with its blistering fast speeds of 3450 megabytes a second read, 3200 megabytes a second write, and capacities of up to 2 terabyte? I can have these files transferred in no time. And if I'm looking for the ultimate performance, I could even get the fourth generation Fire Cuda 520. I better check the link in the description to find out more details. So for those who are blissfully unaware, today sees the day of kind of a launch. Z690, 12th gen Intel processors, DDR5, and so much more. And I've got a table full of stuff, and I just wanted to kind of quickly go through what we have here, because we have video content on all this stuff. Well, pretty much all of it. And if we don't, we will be having that. So today basically allows us to talk about things, previews, unboxings, showing you kind of what it's all about. And I also want to talk about our test bench and what we're actually going to be using come the 4th of November when we can actually show you some performance, show you some results, show you some figures of exactly how these new processors actually work, what they do, what it means, all that kind of wonderful good stuff. So I guess let's get on with kind of the boring stuff first, the, the unsung heroes, the cooler. So for all of our test bench stuff, we're gonna be using the Notua NHD15S. It's a great cooler. We've used it on all of our kind of previous testing when it came to X570 and Ryzen 5000, as well as older generation Intel stuff as well. So we are gonna be using that. The problem is when you use something like that, it isn't made for socket LGA 1700, which is what we get with all these new Z690 boards. So what we have to use is a set of mounting kits. Now on that particular one, it's the MP83, but if you do have a slightly different Notua cooler, then it's the MP78. And you've probably seen tons of articles and videos about the fact that brands now who are making coolers are gonna be coming out with these upgrade kits. Some of them with a very, very small fee and free shipping, other ones with uh, free, but then you have to pay for the shipping. I believe Notua is actually completely free. I mean, good good guys, Notua. So there's that. We also have a ton of motherboards. So from Gigabyte Aorus, we've got the Z690 Aorus Pro, kind of your, your mainstream, but still with a lot of kind of high-end features. And we have got a full preview on that, so definitely go and check that out. If you kind of crave something a little bit more higher end, and I mean, straight away, I can tell you now, this box weighs an absolute ton, but this is the Z690 Aorus Master. I mean, this is just absolutely ridiculous in terms of the features. It's got 10 GBE, it's got uh, PCI Express 5.0 X16, it's got more NVMe slots than you can shake a stick at. Of course, some people may want to go even further. And that is where the Z690 Aorus Extreme comes in. Again, this weighs an absolute ton and the board's not even in there. I'm just talking about the accessories. Typical kind of extreme box, it looks fancy. You know, yes, it is gonna be on the expensive side, but you're, if you watch one of our videos and you watch the video on this, or you go over to etechnics.com where we have full write-up previews on all this stuff, you'll see why this is on the high end. You'll see why it's expensive. In terms of aesthetics, it looks absolutely amazing. So definitely be sure to check that out. Moving away from Gigabyte Urus, we've got a Zeus, and a Zeus has sent over a few things. So. Z690i gaming Wi-Fi. This is their mini ITX with that kind of big stack design where you can put multiple M.2 drives in there. It's got Wi-Fi 6E. It's got pretty much all the main features that you'd expect on a full-size ATX motherboard in a very, very small package. Ladies. Uh, we also have, this one's actually very, very interesting. So this is the ASUS Tough Gaming Z690 Plus Wi-Fi D4. If you didn't know and kind of can't quite figure it out yet, D4 means that it's actually DDR4. So while all the other boards that we've got here do feature DDR5 compatibility, this is DDR4. So maybe you don't want to spend that extra money unnecessarily. And there are not just Zeus, but some of the other brands who are coming out with products that do feature DDR4 instead of DDR5, potentially saving you money and still giving you the upgrade path to a certain degree. New processor, new motherboard, and then maybe later on down the line, you, you already have the uh, the processor, you can just upgrade the motherboard and then get the memory at a later date. Beyond that, we have the ROG Maximus Z690 Extreme. I do like the fact that they're actually giving it a chipset name now and not, like we can see up here, Maximus 13 Extreme. This would essentially, I guess, be 14. 
But yeah, Z690, it just makes it easier to kind of denote which chipset it is. This is ASUS's kind of flagship. Obviously they do have a glacial board as well, which is essentially the same as this, but with a built-in uh, monoblock on there. And we have actually requested that from ASUS, so hopefully we do get one of them in for uh, putting it underwater and seeing what it can do. And I will mention some of the products that we've got here that do involve custom loop. Again, I mean, this has got absolutely everything on it. Uh, it's probably overkill for most people, but why not? If you've got the money, you wanna buy it, you wanna do it properly, why not? Now, I'm gonna put this to one side. Azus actually sent over this big box and inside it was this, uh, which is the ROG Maximus Z690 Hero. This is kind of, you know, a cut down version of the Extreme. It has got a lot of the features that the Extreme has, plus, you know, a little bit extra. And inside here as well, if I actually unbox this, I'll be honest, because I'm all about transparency and honesty and things like that. This was meant to come with some memory from uh, A data. It was meant to come with some DDR4, but uh, sadly there were some issues there. So uh, let's turn it back over and I can show you what it's all about. So this is their kind of presentation box and this is how it came. Open this up and the board was inside. Underneath there was a, but wait, there's more. Take a look inside and there was nothing, but that was where the DDR5, uh, I think it said DDR4, that's where the DDR5 was meant to be. Taking this off, and they've actually also sent us their new, I'll keep it in the box because the box is kind of falling apart, the new Ryujin 2 360 with the LCD screen on there. I don't know, maybe they're trying to take a little bit of limelight away from Corsair with their new LCD AIO, which if you haven't seen our video on that, definitely go and check it out. But it's always a nice little touch when we get these kind of added extras and press packs and things like that. Speaking of press packs, we did get this from Intel, which is the fancy pantsy little kit, which has our i5 12600K in there and our i9 12900K, which we're gonna be testing all the motherboards with. And we are gonna have individual CPU reviews on these as well on the website, in video format, all of that good stuff as well. Also comes with a really cool kind of keepsake. And we have got a video preview showing you all of that as well. I'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible because there's so much stuff here. We have EK Quantum Velocity 2. This is EK's newest block, which has support for LGA 1700. So we are planning to obviously get a board, maybe two underwater at some point, probably not for launch, but we will be doing that uh, sort of, you know, as time goes on and, and going from there. Sticking with the boards, uh, I will mention what this wonderful white package is in a minute, but we do have the MSI MPG Z690 Carbon Wi-Fi. So probably on kind of par with, you know, some of the other boards that you saw here, the Pro uh, from Gigabyte and maybe the Hero, sort of that sort of realm. Uh, but yeah, great board uh, from MSI. We've seen it on Z590, Z490. It's actually the board that EK generally pair up with a monoblock and actually make an EKX version. So uh, yeah, really looking forward to sort of seeing what that can do as well. If you want to go higher end and uh, if I move this Corsair one, which is heavy as hell and you'll see why in a minute, but they did send over the MEG Z690 Unifier and it came in this massive chest, which when you open it up and we have got full videos on this, you get loads of marketing bump, but they also sent us another, along with what Intel sent us, i9 12900K. So thank you very much to MSI for sending that one over. And underneath they sent us their S360 uh, AIO as well, which you may remember we did a live stream and actually uh, already used that. So now we have two of them, which is always nice. Always makes me laugh because obviously the brands want us to use their coolers, but we are using Notua just because we want to not have to kind of retest all the old stuff when we're using it for comparisons. But yeah, inside was the MEG Z690 Unify. No RGB, no frills, just sheer performance, sheer features. Really, really looking forward to this. It's probably one of my favorite boards if you're kind of not into the whole RGB and glitz and glam and stuff like that. Back to water cooling, Corsair also sent this over, the XC7 RGB Pro, so another water block. I'm guessing these brands really want us to do something when it comes to uh, custom loop. And uh, potentially we are gonna be getting that EK Z690 EK Carbon uh, X board as well. So another board that's gonna have, yeah, water cooling properties. Now this is gonna be a key thing. This looks like the most basic memory ever, and I can see why, you know, there's no heat spreaders, it's green, but this is from SK Hynix. It's 32 gig of 4,800 megahertz memory. We're not gonna be using this for our testing because, you know, look at it. But we are gonna do some kind of performance testing with it and compatibility testing, that kind of thing. But we did get sent over uh, with the MSI crate, should we call it, the Kingston Fury DDR5. I believe this is 50, 
I want to say it's 5200 megahertz, but it doesn't actually sound the barcode. So I haven't even really looked into it yet. It is, might even be lower than that, but I believe it's 32 gig, uh, operates at 1.25 volts. We are going to be doing some stuff with that, definitely. Corsair sent over the Vengeance kit. So this is the 32 gig across two 16 gig modules. Vengeance DDR5, Intel XMP ready. It's 5200 megahertz. And this is what we were going to use for all of kind of the bulk of our testing. And then this arrived, this lovely white box, which has got fingerprints and dirt marks over it already. But taking that off, revealed this. Dominator Platinum RGB DDR5. This is 32 gig across two 16 gig modules of 5200 megahertz. I mean, it looks like your kind of, you know, typical DDR sort of Dominator Platinum memory. If I take it out of here, but you will see this is actually module number 17, or is it kit number? So that's module number 17, and this is module number 18. These are first edition DDR5s. And I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what these can do because Dominator Platinums, you know, they're, they're amazing anyway, but having, I guess, this new strain of it, <laughs> this new technology, really looking forward to that. But the thing that I'm most excited about, I'm sorry, MSI, I'm sorry, Gigabyte, I'm sorry, Asus, Notua, EK, even Intel, I'm sorry. How cool is this? They sent us a chopping board with a memory module inside. I don't know why, I don't even care why. How freaking cool is that? So there is a dominator stick of memory in the middle and it's a chopping board. Now for anyone who doesn't know, who hasn't been on social media, last Christmas, I did not give you my heart, last Christmas Corsair sent out to the media worldwide, not just in the UK, but other countries as well, a Corsair apron, a Corsair spatula, Corsair tongs, like all this kind of cooking stuff. And I think it was like how to make cookies and things like that, a little recipe guide. And the thing that was missing was a chopping board. Well, now we've got it. Cutting edge performance Corsair. And this is number 35 out of 50. Maybe we'll make a little article as to who's got what number and, and so forth. But as far as gifts go and things like that, I don't even know. I'm going to hang this from the wall somewhere, but pretty cool to have. But there you have it guys. I wanted to show you guys exactly what we've got here because there is so much stuff and I don't want you guys to miss out on any of it because we've put a lot of effort into all these preview videos that we're doing, the preview articles as well. So definitely go and check them out. Give them some love, give them some likes, this, that and the other. Share them on social media. And remember, 4th of November, we are going to be able to show you performance and I'm hoping as much of this stuff as physically possible. We've got about a week to go. So there's going to be a lot of hard work, a lot of late nights, but I definitely think it's going to be worth it. I haven't even started testing this stuff yet as of today, and we are currently just gone three o'clock on Wednesday the 27th. This video is gonna be going out in about two hours time. So yeah, there you have it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know exactly what to do. And let me know what are you looking forward to the most. And you know, we'll try and prioritize that, I guess, in some way based on the comments. There you go. See you later guys. Bye-bye.